no such thing as work-life balance. None! If you just had to take the assets of, that are in the S-Corp, the assets, okay, building, inventory, contracts, and take it out of that S-Corp, that's what we are telling the kids to buy if they can. That includes employees, right? Yeah, well, no, the, you're not selling the employees. I mean, this isn't slave time. I mean, I just mean from a black man, I get that question, you know? Slavery, slavery was outlawed, um, at least I thought it was outlawed quite a long time ago. But uh, no, so it's the, all, it's, it's the cash, equipment, uh, contracts, uh, the, the, um, uh, the nuts and bolts and shit, the real estate, that's the assets. So we want to buy assets wherever we can. And in his first acquisition, he bought assets. He left the company because with the company comes liabilities. And so he was able to convince the seller to just buy the assets. Uh, and that's exactly the way you do it. And, the, and, and banks like that too, because banks realize that um, you're not bringing all the um, liabilities on board. So that's the difference between buying assets and buying the company. For example, Microsoft, the company, it's got a lot of assets, right? It's got software, it's got this, it's got that. It's now got buildings, it's got cash, it's got contracts, okay? Within the corporate entity. Now, if you, if, well, they wouldn't do this, but if you wanted to take all the corporate assets out of Microsoft and buy them as a unit and leave the corporate shell, and believe me, uh, Microsoft nor anybody else, big company like that, never going to do that. But that's what you want. You want to just buy the assets. Question. Um, what typically happens with the company then? Do they just fold it? Well, okay, so now you take the assets out and the shell is left. Sometimes you'll see corporate shells for sale. And they say they're clean corporate shells. And they're not clean corporate shells. I've never seen a 100% clean corporate shell. Because you have to account for all the shareholders uh, going back. But normally in the things that you're going to buy, there's only going to be one, two, or three uh, shareholders. It's the uh, guy that founded the company, maybe his wife, maybe um, uh, his family, because he gave his kids some shares. But it's, it's the way, it's the simplest, cleanest way to acquire is assets only and not the corporate uh, corporations that they come in.